All right, so I had no idea what direction this video was gonna go in, so we're just gonna jump right in. Priming with my NYX Angel Veil and for foundation, I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous in the color New Guinea. I'm blending that in with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with my Pure Cameo Contour Stick and a Real Techniques brush and contour my face. For concealer, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa mixed with Medium Peach. After setting my face with the Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep. I love this concealer and I'm so excited because they're coming out with the foundation, the chart, the Shape Tape foundation. And if it's anything like the concealer, I need that foundation, honey. And then I'm going to sit there with a confused ass look on my face. I think I was trying to watch a youtube video on my tv and kind of figure it out but after i figure out what i'm trying to do i'm going to put some more laura mercier powder under my eyes that's just to catch any fallout from the eyeshadows then i'm going to go into the modern renaissance palette and use those two shades there as a transition color do it real sloppily right above the crease Then I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and use the color Mocha, which is this brown color right there. And I'm going to put that directly on top of the other colors I put on my lid, just to make it a little darker. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm just going to use that pink color called Love Letter and place that right below the brown. taking venetian red and a smaller blending brush i'm going to just concentrate that color on the outer v
looking in the mirror doubting myself like I always do. I always hate how my eyeshadow looks before it's done and I always contemplate washing it off. But we're just going to keep going and I'm going to use this color Sissy and it's like a pink gold iridescent color and I'm going to put that right on the lid. take this shade and light Kat Von D palette this one is in the shade plum and I'm gonna take that dark purple color and just make this a little bit more smoky I guess this palette was so pigmented I wasn't expecting that so that's why you see the look on my face I'm so shocked I couldn't believe it like I didn't know what I was in for with this palette do some wing eyeliner so I'm just making one line from the corner of my eye up to the edge of my brow and then from the middle of that line I'm gonna draw a line across my eyelid and then I'm going to just fill in that empty space and boom you have your wing eyeliner into what I'm watching on TV like look at me I'm watching TV doing wing eyeliner and I dip the brush in and I blow it off like I'm not even paying attention why did I even <laughs> why did I do that I told you this video was so random so my life was in shambles I'm using this NYX liner and doing my waterline and then boom I drop it and look what happens first I blow the, the liquid eyeliner and then I break my cup whatever now I'm just setting my face with my mineralized skin finish in deep dark. Then for bronzer, I'm using my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer with an Angle BH Cosmetics brush. Then I'm going to contour my nose with that same bronzer using a flower brush from Walmart. is self-explanatory from here i'm just lining my lips with the cyber lip pencil from mac and then i'm using this lip ink paint by maybelline i'm not sure the exact name it'll be in the description bar below um 
but I'm using that to fill my lips in and then I'm getting my life and I really hope you enjoy watching this video and I'll definitely see you all in the next one bye